Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. As always, I recommend while you're on the channel, click that subscribe button. That's going to be your opportunity to get all these great videos. Make sure that you hit the notifications bell. That way you get everything inside of your inbox if you're interested in getting that fatter wallet, a bigger net worth, and learning these tips and techniques to help you make more money in life. Today, I'm really excited to talk to you about this topic. Can you live on 800 calories a day? Well, I have to tell you, recently I took a trip to a world-class facility in the Swiss Alps called Chinook. No, this is not on everybody's budget, but I did learn quite a few things that may make a difference in not only your mental health and your physical health, which can both help lead for you to be able to make more money. So the way that this program works is very, very interesting. You actually are served three meals a day on the 800 calories. In the morning, I would typically get a piece of fruit, something like a half of an apricot, or they would cut up a half of a pear, and you couldn't have any caffeine. You could have no salt, no sugar, nothing like that, no condiments whatsoever. So typically, instead of coffee, they would serve you chicory or you would have something called barley coffee. How many of you have had uh, barley coffee at all? Oddly enough, within three to four days, I was used to the barley coffee. The caffeine didn't bother me at all. What's really interesting is learning in here in order to slow down your eating process is that when they would serve a two to 300 calorie meal at lunch or at dinner, it would typically bro be broken up into three courses. And what was interesting about that is that you learn two things. If you want to cut down your food intake, you absolutely want to think about portion control, having less, even if it is something good, and actually thinking about spreading out your meal. Most people don't think about this at home, but if you put everything on one giant plate all together in a big heaping, you're probably going to eat most or all of it because you're going to feel like you need to clean your plate. Imagine if you started even in your own dinner at home and you took a little bit for the first serving and you ate it, then you waited five minutes, seven minutes, then you went up for a second serving, you would end up eating less than if you had it on the whole plate. Otherwise, the question is, could you simply just drink water the rest of the day, specifically lemon water? Or for those of you trying to get down to 800 calories a day, could you use mushroom broth or like a, a lemon type broth uh, during the day? Very interesting. Now, the Chanel program, uh, taught me all kinds of interesting stuff and two things one here in the United States now and one that uh, may be here in the future is something called red light therapy I'm hearing more and more people looking at this but red light therapy can come in many shapes and sizes but the red light therapy allows you to have a better blood flow uh, regeneration of cells and for those of you that may be looking at skin tightening you may see a lot of people wearing face face masks that have red light therapy although they have whole body red light therapy the other side of it is that even if you're doing cryotherapy once a week, there are people that will do plunge pools or go into an ice bath. That's fine, but that cryotherapy is another way to basically reduce inflammation and, and a way to make your skin look healthier and fresher. What was interesting about the workout and the routine program at you know is what they do to basically get the toxins out. Now, a lot of people will not be able to do this at home, but almost every single day, I actually went into aromatherapy bath for about 20 minutes. They actually had a massager that went on your stomach for about 20 minutes. I went into a phyto mud bath for about 20 minutes. Uh, they had roughly 100 degree water that was shooting into plastic as they lowered you into a cocoon that allowed you to get your body heated up even more. And then there was a one hour cupping massage. If you've never had a cupping massage before, it's different than a regular massage, but again, everything to try to increase blood flow and move out those toxins. When you think about your workouts, there are a lot of people that do all kinds of workouts. It ranges from CrossFit to people who basically jog every day. One of the main things that they talked about within the program, and I did this for an entire week, is about core and stability. And so as you variate or change your routines over time, you maybe want to think about doing more routines that may be on a core ball or on what's called to be a terror trainer or ways that you can increase the stability of, of your body. Uh, one thing that you'll see in a picture in here, which is really cool, is called Nurac therapy. And it looks like I'm almost in a sling, 
But what's unbelievable about it is that you are actually trying to use body parts and seeing do you have one hip that's stronger than another, one shoulder that's stronger than another because your body parts do weaken over time. And in fact, sometimes where one leg or one arm or one hip gets stronger than another, that can cause problems for you as you get into your 40s, 50s, 60s, and especially uh, people that get older in their 70s and 80s. Very, very interesting stuff. And um, when you're thinking about how to increase your cardio intake, you may think about breathing machines that can be very cheap. You can buy them on Amazon for $29 and thinking about how you take in air and how you output air. So what happened to me after seven days? I went into this program and in seven days, I had lost 16 pounds, uh, which sounds like a lot of weight because it is. <clears throat> and you may be saying, is it sustainable? No, the 16 pounds probably wasn't sustainable, but going through this process, what it made me realize is this whole idea of fasting on autophagy is something that you too can try at home, either a one day fast or a three day fast. And it doesn't mean necessarily fasting that you eat no calories. It just means, can you limit that calorie intake to the point that your body is going to use or forced to use cells that it hasn't used before so you can regenerate new and better cells. Not only can this help you with physical acuity, it can help you with mental acuity and then hopefully all that leads to financial acuity. So check out the website first you know, it may be something that you do in the future. Maybe you try one of these techniques I talk about today. All of this hopefully can help you increase your mental well-being, your physical well-being, and ultimately your financial well-being. That's this episode of What Ted Says.